Shall we bow down our heads, all of us? We're going to pray. Samuel, can you pray for us, please? Omit your mic and pray for us to get started. Okay. Thank you, God, for coming to Zoom. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you all the things you have doing for us. Thank you. Thank you all the things. Thank you. You will be good and we praying good. Please let us be good at in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless our prophet Samuel. God bless you. All right. We are going to sing some of our songs. My, 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 Jesus is mine. My, my, my. my. He said, my 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 this is my 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 Jesus. Yes, Lisha, you are not singing. My, my, my. Jesus is mine. Jesus is mine. Jesus is mine. Jesus is mine. Jesus is my savior. Day by day, my, 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 is my amen. Then our next song is This Big Light of Man. It's not little anymore, it's big, it's a big light. And we are going to let our big light in us shine. And that light is Jesus Christ in our lives. This big light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Yeah. Big light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This big light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. 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 Let it this big light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This big light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This big light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. 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 Let it shine, let it shine. Amen. And then our next song is My Head, My Shoulders, My Knees, and My Toes. So it's an action song. So we are all going to stand up. Our head, our shoulders, our knees. Go, if you stand up, I stand up. You'll be on your feet. Ready? Go. My head, 
my shoulders, my knees, my toes, my head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes, my head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. They all belong to Jesus. Then you go. They all belong to Jesus. They all belong to Jesus. My head, my shoulders, my knee, my toes, my head, my shoulders. My knee, my toes, my head, my shoulder, my knee, my toes. Oh, yeah. 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 for today is John baptizes Jesus Christ. John baptizes Jesus Christ. So our key scriptures, you can make time and read Matthew chapter 3, verse 1 to 17. Matthew chapter 3, verse 1 to 17. That is where our story is coming from. And then you can also see it, read it in Mark chapter 1, 
verse 1 to 11. Mark, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verse 1 to 11. And then it's also written in Luke, chapter 3, verse 1 to 22. Luke, chapter 3, verse 1 to 22. Okay. All right. Uh, because I'm going to, let me transfer my file here. Because I'm going to share the lesson notes from the screen with all of you. I want to be able to open the file here. Right here. To the children's file and our story. But I will share the screen to let you all write the lesson notes. We are going to learn about John who baptizes Jesus Christ. John who baptizes Jesus Christ. Let me magnify the words here. And when it's lessons time, you all look on the screen and know what the lessons is about. All right. So, as we all know, we have been learning about the life of Jesus from the time the angels came. Elisha, be quiet. Be quiet and listen to the story, please. So, the, the, we started from where the angels, Gabriel came to Mary, told, him about, told her about baby Jesus that would be born, and then Jesus got born. Then we heard of King Herod who wanted to kill Jesus. We heard of the shepherd who went to visit Jesus. The wise men who also went to Jesus and presented gifts. And Jesus and the mother was taken to Egypt. They came back. He grew up at the age of 12. Last week we learned that he was taken to the temple. He got lost. Now in this story, Jesus is all grown up. Jesus is all grown up. He's a big man. He's no longer a boy. He's a big man. Elisha, be quiet and listen, please. Jesus is now fully grown. He's an adult. And he's going to get baptized in our story today, okay? So John, John was born before Jesus Christ was. There's a man called John. He was born before Jesus Christ was born. And John's parents are Elizabeth. John's mother is called Elizabeth. And the daddy is called Zachariah. Zachariah was a priest. In our time, we say that Zachariah was a pastor, was a man of God, a pastor, who preaches about the law of God or the word of God. So John's father was a pastor or a priest. At that time, they called them priests. He was a priest of God who stand before the Lord and will always offer sacrifice unto the Lord on behalf of all the people of Israel. Okay. So we know of John the Baptist's parents, Zechariah and Elizabeth. Okay. John and Jesus Christ, they were cousins because Elizabeth was related to Jesus Christ's mother, who was called Mary. So Elizabeth and Mary are cousins. They are siblings. From, uh, from the, their mothers are sisters. So Elizabeth's cousin is Mary. So John and Jesus, they are cousins, okay? They are cousins. All right. John and John, John, uh, who was baptizing, his auntie is Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. So they are cousins. All right. When John grew up, the Bible says that he didn't he didn't like to live in the house. He would always be in the desert area, the desert place. And all that he was eating was 
box and honey. He doesn't eat regular food, you know, the cheeseburger and the good rice and all the grape juice, orange juice, grape, whatever juice the people were drinking and eating at that time. John always loved to live in the desert area. And then in the desert, you won't find any good food to eat. So he was eating box, B-U-G-S, box, small, small insects, box. And then he will also eat honey, H-O-N-E-Y, H-O-N-E-Y. So that was the main dish that John, the, John who was baptizing uh, used to eat. So the Bible says that John was always telling the people, people about God. John told the people about God. John told the people about God. They asked him, many people will come to him and they'll be asking him questions, many questions about what is right and what is wrong. Then John will tell them. John told them to be good and kind and honest. John told them to be good, kind and honest. So John preached about God's forgiveness to the people. Said that if you stop being bad and you repent, God will forgive you your sins. So those were the kind of messages John was preaching. I hope you all are listening. Elisha, be quiet and let Kofi listen if you don't want to. Be quiet. So John the Baptist, he came telling people about God. And people will ask about what is right, what is good. He will tell them to be good, to be kind, and to be honest to each other. They should be kind to their fellow human beings. John preached about God's forgiveness. Many people decided to follow God because God, uh, John was telling them about this God who is so good and forgives sins. So many people repented. They change from their bad behavior. They change from their bad behavior. And then they gave their life to God. They repented and gave their life to God. So what happened is that when people repent, they change from their bad ways and they give their life to God. John will baptize those people in a river. He will baptize those people in a river. And the Bible says that John told the people to get ready for a very special person who would save them from their sins. He told them, look, I am just here, I'm preparing the way for a very special person, a very special man. He is going to save the whole world from their sins. So the Bible says that one day, Jesus Christ came to the river where John was baptizing people who repented from their sins. John knew that Jesus was that special person he spoke about. So Jesus came close to John and he said, I need to be baptized by you. I need to be baptized by you. But John, John, he knew that Jesus was that special person. So he, he didn't see why he has to baptize the special person from God, who is Jesus Christ. So John was very surprised. But Jesus said, Jesus told him, Elisha, go back and sit down. Elisha, go back and sit down and listen to the story. If he turn it very well, so that I can see him over there, turn it. Elisha, sit down properly. Thank you. All right. So, in fact, John was very surprised that Jesus, who is a special person to save the whole world, will come to him, somebody like him, to be baptized. And so Jesus told him, it is right for you to do this. That was what Jesus told him. He said, John, it is right for you to baptize me, to do this. So John took Jesus into the Jordan River and baptized him. So that river, 
where John was doing the baptism is called the River Jordan. That's the name. Don't forget, that is the name. The River Jordan. All right. So John, John was taken into that river, river Jordan and he baptized Jesus in that river Jordan. Now, while the baptism was going on, when Jesus was immersed, meaning he went all the way into the river, covered in the water, as he was getting up from the water, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit came down from heaven in the form of a dove. A dove is a bird. It's a bird that flies. Very, very special bird. So the Holy Spirit transfer, uh, came like a Jesus, and Jesus smiled. And the Bible says that then, immediately after the, the Holy Spirit, who came in the form of a dove, then God spoke from heaven. God immediately spoke from heaven. And God said, this is my son, and I love him. I am well pleased, very pleased with him. This is my son, and I love him, and I'm very pleased with him. So Jesus now came out of the water, fully baptized by John in the river jordan river and straight out he came out of the river went his way and started to preach he also started to preach about god repentance and being saved through him from the boundaries of galilee from the nazareth area to galilee and to other places jesus now started to preach. That's the end of our story. John baptized Jesus Christ. John baptized Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit came. Go and sit down. The Holy Spirit came on Jesus. God spoke from heaven and he said, this is my son. I love him and I'm very pleased with him. And straight out, Jesus came out and started doing the will of his father God in heaven. All right. So I'm going to share the screen and you will see the story, the lessons, and then you can write it down. So... You can see we have four lessons for this story. So everybody, those with books, you can start to write it as you see it on the screen. As you see it from the screen, you can start to write it. So the first lesson is that we must love to do good always. We must love to do good <laughs> because that was what John was preaching about. That was what John was preaching about. He said, do good, be kind, and be honest with each other, with your neighbor, with friends, with everybody, even if they are bad to you, do good to them. This was the kind of messages John was telling people. And they believed, and they got baptized in the River Jordan. So that's our first lesson. We must love to do good all the time. We must love to do good all the time. And then lesson number two, as children of God, we must not be happy about wrong things done. We must never be happy. So, so lesson number two says as children of god we must not be happy about wrong things that are done 
So when you go to school, you are in the playground, wherever you find yourself. If you see your sister or your brother or a friend doing something that is wrong, you tell them, look, what you are doing is wrong. You must stop so that they stop doing the wrong things. You must not be happy. Don't be laughing and smiling with them while they are doing wrong things. It's not good. Children of God, we must not be happy when the wrong thing is done. So that's our lesson number two. Lesson number three, God wants all people to be saved. God wants all people to be saved. That's our lesson number three. God wants all people in the world. So that's why we must be good and kind to all. Because God loves every human being, everybody. And he wants all people to be saved. You want, Elisha, please sit down. We must love people because God loves everybody and wants all people to be saved. Okay, so our last lesson says that God forgives our sins when we have a change of heart. God forgives our sins when we have a change of heart. So remember, John the Baptist came preaching about forgiveness, telling them, please stop doing bad things. This is wrong. This is bad. Do good. Do this. Be kind. Be honest. And he was telling them about the forgiveness of God. So when you change from bad things in your heart, God will forgive you. So he was simply telling people, God is a forgiving God. He loves you all. Repent. Change from your bad ways. Stop doing messy things. Stop being mess. Stop doing wrong things. Stop hating on your brother. And through it, they also got repentance they, because they changed their heart. They stopped doing evil. They gave their life to God and God forgave them. So God forgives sins when we have a change of heart. So that's our last lesson. So we have four lessons from our story today. Four lessons from our story today. All right, Kofi, are you done writing? Lisha, please sit down. When you are yeah. done writing, let me see your hands. If you are done writing, you just wave your hands. All right, Samuel is done writing. What about you, Kiara? Are you done writing? You are done. Okay, Kofi, too. Are you done? Okay, you are done. All right, so I'll stop sharing this one here. Okay, okay. Oh, I didn't ask Gabriel. Gabriel, are you done? Gabriel, are you done? Because I can't see your camera, so if you are waving your hands, I didn't see it. Sorry about that. Are you done? Or were you done? If you can hear me, bro. I'm not sure if he can hear me. I hope he was done. Okay. So we are going to go into our questions. Okay. We're going to go into our questions. All right. So the first question. So what is the relationship between John and Jesus Christ? What is the relationship between John and Jesus Christ? Who is John to Jesus Christ? Who is John to Jesus? Yes, Samuel, unmute your mic and talk. Samuel, who was John to Jesus? They were cousins. Oh. Right, they were cousins. They were cousins. All right, let's go to the next question. Let's go to the next question here. Our second question. 
Where did John lived when he grew up? Where was John living when he grew up? Yes, Kiara. In the desert. In the desert. Let's clap for Kiara. He says the best. Amen. All right. Let's go to our third question. Let's go to our third question. What did John eat in the desert? What did John eat as food in the desert? Yes, Gabriel. Yes, Gabriel. What was the food for John whilst he was living in the desert? Yes, Gabriel. Gabriel, I can't see you, so if you are muted, you have to unmute your mic so that I can hear you. Kofi, what did John eat in the desert? What was the food for John? He ate bugs. He ate bugs and what else? There was two things that were mentioned, bugs and what? It's disgusting. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Elisha says it's disgusting. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Bugs and what else was John eating in the desert? Flies. <laughs> Kofi. Uh, flies, whatever, is all involved, is all included in the box. <laughs> and Elisha already said it's disgusting. What else was he eating beside that? Those small, small insects. Eggs. Not eggs. There's no eggs in the desert, Elisha. <laughs> Kiara, do you remember? We mentioned two things, bugs and something else. Because that was the only thing you could find there in the desert. There was nothing there for him to eat. Yes, Elisha. Right. Okay, Gabriel answered it. He, he typed honey. So, uh, John the Baptist was eating bugs and honey. H O N E. Oh, Elisha, honey is not disgusting. Please stop saying that word. <laughs> So honey and box is what John the Baptist, God bless you, Gabriel. In fact, let's clap for Kofi and Gabriel. Jesus the best. Amen. All right, let's go to our next question. What was John telling the people who came to listen to him? What was he telling them to do? What was the message that he was telling them to do? John the Baptist was preaching, but what was the message he was telling the people. Yes, Elisha. Jesus. Uh, Elisha, sit up straight. Kofi, what was John the Baptist telling the people to do? Jesus. No, not Jesus. I said, what, what was the statement? What was the message he was preaching about? To love Kofi, each other. To love each other. Uh -huh. What else? Jesus. Elisha, no. <laughs> To love each other, yes. What else, Kiara? What else was he telling the people to do? To love others. Uh, Kofi already said that. What else did he also tell them to do? Not do bad to someone else. Not do bad, yes. What else was he telling them to do? God bless you. We will clap for when we are done saying it. To be kind. Gabriel said to be kind. What else? What else? Is love with the last one that we mentioned in the story. So to love, not to do bad. To be kind. To be kind is what Gabriel just... What was the last thing in the story that we actually mentioned? Yes, Kiara? To share. Yeah. No. Uh, okay. To share is also part of it. But what else? We actually mentioned one particular something. Kofi, stop messing with the computer. Jesus. Whatever you are clicking on, stop doing that. I'm going to change our name. No, I'm not. I'll name stop you. messing with the computer. It looks like everybody got kicked out. I don't know what you touch on, but stop doing that. Please. Yeah, now, yeah. What did you touch on? Jesus. No, Lysa, we are not... <laughs> Why do you keep saying Jesus all the time? I just said no. 
Okay. You don't know. Okay. If you don't know, <laughs> it doesn't mean say something. All right. We'll clap for everybody that can. So, uh, John the Baptist was telling people to be good, to be kind, and to be honest. To be good. Sit straight. Elisha, sit up straight. Kofi, you too. Sit up straight. To be good, to be kind, and to be honest. To be good, kind, and honest to people. That was what uh, John the Baptist was telling everybody to do. To be good, to be kind, and to be honest. To be good, to be kind, and to be honest. They have to be honest with everything that they do. But if you stop messing with the computer, that's the last time I'm telling you that. Stop touching it. I said, say me and me and Okay, he will be out out of the you know Ubisu. Yeah. Stop messing with it. So that was what John the Baptist was telling people. Let them be good to one another, be kind to one another, and be honest with one another. So good job, guys. So let's clap for everybody that contributed to the answer. He says the best. Amen. <laughs> Then rather turn on the camera. Turn on the camera and stop messing with the computer, please. All right. So uh, the next question, please pay attention to the next question. What did John do to the people who chose to follow God? Listen to the question very well, please. What did John do to the people who chose to follow God? Because as he preached, many people now repented and they decided to follow God. What did he do with those people who decided to follow God? Yes, Kiara. He baptized them. He baptized them. Let's clap for Kiara. <laughs> he says the best. God bless you, Kiara. It means Kiara was listening to the story. God bless you. Okay, Kofi, that's enough. That's not how we clap. We clap very, very well. Pa, 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 pa. Jesus, the baby. we don't clap, we don't do this. Time. No, we don't do that. Clap well as a Sunday school child, okay? All right, let's go to the next question. In what river did John baptize Jesus Christ? In what river? Yes, Kofi. In the Jordan River. In the Jordan River. Let's clap for the river bell. Okay, exactly. Jesus, the best. Amen. All right. Now, let's go to our next question. What was the first thing that happened as John was baptizing Jesus? What was the first thing that happened? Something happened as John was baptizing Jesus. What was the first thing that happened? What was the first thing? Pay attention. What was the first thing? Okay, Gabriel gave the answer. A dog descended. So, what 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 made that dove to descend? What was in that dove? And Gabriel, what was in that dove? Not God, not God, because the the story mentioned a name. Samuel, yes. White bird. Yes, uh, we know of the dove, but what was it that was in the dove? Who, what came in the form of a dove? Yes, Samuel. And Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Let's clap for Gabriel and Samuel. Jesus the best. Amen. God bless you both. God bless you both. So it was the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove that descended on Jesus Christ as he was being baptized. Now our next question. Zerubbabel, stop messing with the computer. Sit up straight. Sit up straight. He's just, mom is just okay. messing on the computer. All right. All right, our last question. What did God say? What did God say? What was God's word as John was baptizing Jesus? What did God say? After the Holy Spirit came as a dove, God also said something. What did God say? 
who, who can tell me exactly what God said? The exact words God said from the story we just read. Ethan, did you have your hand up? Oh. <laughs> I thought you had your hand up. <laughs> yes, Kiara. Do you remember what God said, Kofi? Do you remember what God said? Elisha, stop playing and listen to the questions. Gabriel, your, your camera is not working and your microphone is not working either, right? You yeah. can type your answer if you are trying to answer it. What exactly did God say after the Holy Spirit came in in the form of a dove? What did God also say? God said something special. Uh, uh, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. No, that was uh, the message uh, John the Baptist was preaching. But when the Holy Spirit came on Jesus as a dove, God also spoke from heaven and he said something about Jesus. That's what I'm, I'm talking about. God spoke from heaven and said something about Jesus Christ. What did he say? Samuel, do you remember? You can unmute your mic and give it a try. <laughs> what is the question? What did God say about Jesus Christ as he was being baptized? When the Holy Spirit came upon Jesus as a dove, then God, Bible said God spoke from the heaven about Jesus. Oh. What did he say? Okay, now Gabriel is answering it. Jesus God said, this is my son, and I love him, and I'm very well pleased with him. I'm very pleased with him. So Gabriel just gave the answer over there. Let's clap for Gabriel. Jesus, the best. Amen. And that was the last question for our story. So God bless you all for making it to Sunday school today. God bless you all. And I hope that we don't learn the word of God and forget it. So let's all keep our lessons and the story and the questions in our hearts and always remember that Jesus and God, the Father, love those who repent and change from bad to good and do the right thing and remain in Christ. This, God loves those people. Okay? That's the main thing we have to take home. All right, we are all going to lift our hands and raise our Jesus money and we'll pray over it. We'll pray over our Jesus money. You lift your hands up. Everybody, Elisha, sit up. All right, let's close our eyes. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration for what you have done for us today. What we have given to our parents, we have brought some to your house. We pray that you bless it, you bless it, and you bless the, the work that our mommies and our daddies do. And everywhere they get the money, you bless in the name of Jesus. And you open the windows of heaven and pour out abundance of peace and love and understanding in our homes, in our family, and all the people we interact with in the name of Jesus. We thank you for accepting our offering in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen. We thank God. We thank God. Okay, so as we bring our service to an end, we're going to sing uh, one of the songs that we learned from last week. Follow, follow, I will follow him everywhere, anywhere, I will follow him. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus everywhere, I will follow I want to hear everybody's voice. Follow for coffee or mute yourself. I will follow Jesus everywhere, anywhere. I will follow him. Follow, follow. I will follow Jesus everywhere he goes. I will follow him. All right. All right. God bless you all. Amen. All right. So we are done for today and we are going to pray. We are going to commit ourselves.
for the rest of the week. We are going to enter a new week from tomorrow. We are asking the blood of Jesus Christ to protect all the children of God across the globe, in the whole world, that the blood of Jesus will cover and protect each and every child of God in Jesus' mighty name. So close your eyes wherever you are. Close your eyes. Pray, pray the blood of Jesus. Cover all the children of God. Blood of Jesus. Cover them all. Protect them. Everybody lift your voices. Begin to pray. Let's open your mouth. Tell God. Lord Jesus, cover all the children of God. Cover them in your blood. Cover them in your blood. Lift your voice. Lift your voice and say it. We are praying together. Say, Lord Jesus, cover all the children of God in your blood. Cover all the children of God all around the world. Cover them in your precious blood. Cover them in your precious blood. Pray, pray, pray. Lift your voice and pray. That Jesus will cover all of them in his precious blood. Protect them when they go out and protect them when they come back in. Protect their mommies, protect their dad, protect their family members, protect their friends, protect everyone. If you close your eyes and pray. Then close your eyes, we are praying. We are praying. Father, we thank you. We bless your name for how far you have brought us, oh Lord. We give you all the glory, Jesus, for everything that you continue to do. Father, we pray as we are leaving this service, we pray that the blood of Jesus will show, the blood of Jesus will cover, the blood of Jesus will protect. Anything that the enemy will plan against us, we destroy and we cancel in the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Protect all the children across the world in Jesus' mighty name. Father, make us obedient to the word of God. Let your spirit, the Holy Spirit, live in our heart, live in our spirit. That will be obedient to our parents, who will listen to our teachers, who will respect our elders in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, we bless you, we honor you for today and everything that you have done. Father, let us retain every lesson that we taught us today in Jesus' mighty name, that we will grow and become good children in the world in Jesus Christ's mighty name. That will be useful in your house and do your will and do your work in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done today. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. God bless you all for coming. Now let's lift our two hands. Everybody, wherever you are, lift your two hands up. We are going to share the grace together. If you don't know, then you are learning it as of our Lord, Lord Jesus the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the love of God, the of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And forevermore. Amen. 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 We love you all. We love you all. We love everybody. We love all. Bye. Bye, everybody. We love you. Bye.